I'm Robert Trevino. I was born in uh, Monterrey, Mexico, and I'm an aerospace engineer here at the NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, and I'm also a captain in the United States Naval Reserve. My first job out of high school was working at the San Antonio Airport, working on airplanes. As soon as I got there, I worked with a lot of engineers that told me, Robert, you need to go back to college and, and get your degrees. But I didn't have the math background that would allow me to start engineering careers. I went two years at a San Antonio College where I took a lot of the, my math classes. So then I'd be ready to go into engineering. And after two years at San Antonio College, I transferred to the University of Texas in Austin and majoring in aerospace engineering. I joined the Navy because to me, of all the services, it seemed the one that provided me the most challenge. And also, I was very interested in flying and the Navy's flight programs. I had heard so much about the whole team of naval aviation, learn flight jets, get that valuable experience. You know, read about some of the astronauts like Alan Shepard and Neil Armstrong. They were all Navy pilots. They just really were great uh, examples. And also the, the Navy also just, to me, had its mission, its role being worldwide, really appealed to me. The Navy Reserve is a critical part of the overall United States Navy. We have the active duty component, and then we have the Naval Reserve which are units that have a similar component in the active duty that if needed in national emergencies, we have crews that are fully trained in the reserve that could augment the active duty units. To me, just being part of that team, the camaraderie, the spirit of the Navy was really hard to give up. I wanted to pursue my career with NASA, but I did not want to completely give up with the Navy. And the Naval Reserve, to me, was the best opportunity to have both worlds to serve both the Navy as a reservist and continue my career with NASA. Now I work in the crew and thermal systems division and my main area was what we call extravehicular activity, which means working outside the pressurized environment of the spacecraft. So I do try to engage with students whenever I can. I mean, it is critical that we pay attention to our young people and mentoring them about all of the opportunities they have in science, technology, engineering, and math. Again, so many of them do not know what it is like to be an engineer or a scientist and work in a technical profession because they've, they've never had any role models or anyone to, to talk to them about that. When you talk to them about some of the things that you've done and maybe bring in some hands-on, I, I usually try to bring some spacesuit equipment and show how it's designed, how it works, and they, then they get more interested. My career in the Navy has just been a, a great uh, experience that has led me to the path to where I am now. To gain the confidence that I could really focus, pay attention to detail, with that sort of uh, background, you can really pursue any kind of dream that you have.